this is Sam Visnick, neuromuscular therapist, and again, welcome to endyourbackpainnow.com forward slash blog. And today what I'm going to show you is something called the Thomas Psoas Stretch. This stretch is very effective for stretching the psoas muscle. However, it can be a little bit challenging to do this on your own uh, because of the positioning. And sometimes when you, you have a certain type of back pain, whether it be a disc herniation or spinal degeneration, you have to be careful in getting in and out of this position. However, when you're in the position, it's very effective to be able to stretch the psoas. It's one of the best ways to do it, and it's actually one of the ways to test if the psoas is tight. So this is Nick here, and Nick is a personal fitness trainer from thefitnessdoctors.com, and he's here to help me today show you how to do this stretch. So what I'm going to have Nick do is to actually sit right on the edge of the table so his butt bones are, right, are making contact just on the edge. And as he does that, I'm going to have him take his uh, right knee, bring it up to his chest, and wrap both hands around and then he's going to hold his posture upright and lay backward onto the table. Now, as he does this, he's going to allow this leg to just hang. Now, he's not exactly where we need him to be. The hip needs to be a little bit back, so I'm going to slide him downward. And then as I do that, what I'm feeling for is moving his leg just high enough to keep the back flat against the table. And as he does this, when this leg completely hangs, you can see that it has an angle relative to the table. Now, ideally, if the table is 180 degrees, the leg should be able to drop 5 degrees below the length of the table, or the end of the table, signifying a normal psoas length. As you can see here with Nick, he's not doing too bad with the psoas length, however, it could, be, it could stand to be a few more degrees in terms of range of motion. So what he can do is he can just sit here in this position, hold his knee into his chest, and just let this leg hang, or if he has somebody else to help him out, in his case he has me, I will just lightly push down on the leg to increase the stretch across the psoas muscle. Now again, stretching the psoas muscle is extremely effective for reducing anterior pelvic tilt and also correcting excessive curvature of the lower back. So that's it for today, and be sure to visit again endyourbackpainnow.com forward slash blog. This is Sam Visnick.